So what is Biomutant in a nutshell? Biomutant is an open world, post-apocalyptic kung fu fable. Basically, in terms of structure, it's like uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, I guess. But the feedback that's, you know, that we've been getting over the years, it's that it's kind of uh, a strange, weird, good mix between Ratchet and Clank, Devil May Cry, Batman Arkham, yeah, and a couple of other influences. So it's truly an uh, open world game, 8x8 uh, kilometers, filled with a lot of weird events and fun things to find. I think the primary thing that we worked a lot with is uh, the control that the player have uh, over the character customization. We have uh, the possibility for the player, you know, to to set the attributes, and in Bi Mutant, that's uh, tightly connected or integrated with the way that the character uh, looks. But the player is like completely free to morph their own. Uh, breed, we call it a breed, but mammal, if you will. And eventually, you know, people have a lot of assumptions on what kind of animal this is. But for me, and I guess the team, we have allowed the player to make what I call, you know, more like a Muppet. And with character customization, you know, it goes all the way down to crafting bits onto your clothes or hats or uh, pants or whatnot. Uh, I guess the most important thing is the arsenal or the weapons. I mean, it's an action role-playing game, right? So we're focusing on, on the action parts of you know the role-playing aspect. Each like part that you can find for weapons and gear also comes with like a, a material, uh, a, a quality aspect. So they can be more damaged or of a higher quality material. Just mentioning that you don't have to repair, <laughs> but you can actually upgrade things that are broken, but they, they will never uh, diminish in terms of, of their material qualities, like in Zelda, for example, we don't do that. In the game, you have six different tribes. Uh, so they're all composed of, you know, a leader, a Sifu, if you will, that have mastered a specific Wang Fu uh, combat style and uh, trained his disciples in, in that. So these tribes are now in conflict. Basically there are three tribes that have what we call a light aura. So basically a, a, a good karma if you will, if you want to paint it black and white. And there are three tribes that have like a dark aura. Eventually at the start of the game uh, you will find that you have to choose an ally. So one of these six tribes. As you move along or uh, go further into the game, you're free at any time to change your allegiance. But at the start of the game, you, you, you choose one of these two tribes. And basically at that point, the state of the world is represented by the huge tree that's at the heart of the 8 by 8 kilometer over world. So it's a representation um, of the world either uh, going under or the world surviving. So this is all tied to the tree of life. A light or a tribe, they wanna save the world. So make sure that the tree uh, survives and also then uniting the other tribes whilst allying with dark or a tribe would mean the opposite. They believe that the only way that you can move forward is to make sure there's kind of a cleansing, I guess. So uh, making sure that everything that's bad in the world uh, kind of goes under so you have a rebirth and start anew, if that makes sense. So you're very free to make this choice, but also bear in mind that that will affect the ending of the game. <laughs> Obviously, game being called Biomutant has to have some form of mutations uh, slash abilities, right? There's quite a wide range of them. Primarily, we have the bi mutations, so those are kind of more physical abilities, if you will. For example, you can spawn a, a mushroom in front of you. Uh, that has multiple uses, if I just use that one as an example, in terms of creative freedom for you as a player. Combining this jumping up on the mushroom with, let's say, just uh, electricity shooting out from your fingers, like the Emperor in Star Wars, or once the character is airborne, like your enemy, uh, just going up there, unleashing some other 
kind of strange abilities. I don't want to go into all of them. But uh, the other aspect is the Psy mutations. So those are more like your you know, X-Men style abilities, if you will. Like, for example, Levitate, which again uh, can give you both exploration opportunities, but also then in, in, you can use it in combat in conjunction with other abilities and obviously ranged combat. So that will give you an advantage, I guess. You're wanting to keep on exploring the world because you're wondering what's going to be, you know, around the next corner. And I guess the hope that we have as a group, as a team, is that that's going to be the unifying factor in terms of people playing the game and giving us feedback. Uh, that we that it's notable that the game has a soul or a vibe that is a little bit unique and special. That's my highest hope for the game, I guess.